I've got two things here. Yes. Oh my God. And let's just explain what this is. Because these are body fat calipers -na -na -na. and what you do. It, what I like to tell people is this is not what you weigh. Weight matters, but it's really what that weight is made up of. And so there's actually a phenomenon called TOFI, thin outside, fat inside, for people who try to maintain their weight through diet alone, mm -hmm. who are have not enough muscle. Their weight's fine, but what it's made up of is they have high body fat, low muscle mass. So what you want to make sure of, was that you? <laughs> is that as you're losing weight, you're actually losing fat but holding on to or building muscle. And that's why there's, there's a couple key things that you want to have at home. And one of them is the tape measure, the single real biggest indicator of if you're doing better. Because when you're losing weight, if you're not losing your waist, you're making yourself worse, not better, is to just use a tape measure. Hmm. I mean, this is just a great deal. And so measure me. for, I'm going to, stand up, come okay, here. Okay. Bring it on over here. Might have to All unbutton right. that jacket, too. Uh, there. I'm going to unbutton and this. I'm going in. And what do I, um, do I stand up? I got to get, yeah, you got to get, you're all tangled up there. Okay, I'm good. All right. All right. So, Stand up. So uh, when you're going to do a waist measurement, what you okay. want to do is you want to do your waist right around the belly button. So okay. I got that. I'm, I'm sucking right it in. He said, and so what I do Look because at me. I know this trick. Let's just be normal. Let's okay, try, okay. try, try. Uh, I don't know if you can be normal, but my, my, you know. my kids make fun of me. Hold on, I got to put me. my naughty librarian glasses on here. <laughs> All right. You want me to there, hold this, this or something? Okay. So stop. Just okay. let, relax, relax. Oh God. Okay. So for men, no, don't relax that much, please. Okay. You know, then I can't unsee <laughs> this. There's some things we can't unsee. <laughs> so right around here, you're going to measure right around the waist, right around uh -huh. the um, jacket off so the people belly button. Won't. It's okay. But now here's the important thing, just for everybody at home. See where his belt is. Now the challenge is, is that people will look at this, stop it, Ugh. and they will think when they see this that they will think that you know you go, oh well, I have a a 34 inch waist. No, that's your belt. What's this over here? This is your waist. This thing hanging over your belt, that's it's it. It's my fab. Okay. So fat right above now, belt. Yeah, fat above belt. Fab. This, by the way, I'm fab. this is this is like this is, you're a doctor. This is not acceptable for you, by the way. You're oh 37 God. inch waist. A 37 inch waist. Now oh my 40 Lord. is like 40 is big like ah alarm bells, but really, come on. How tall are you? Around six one. Yeah, so I mean, we like 34 should be your like, that's it. That's mm. it, Dr. Steven. Oh my God. Now that's one way to look at it. For women, 35 inches is really sound the alarm, but that's, when we get to sound the alarms, it's, you know, really scary. But you want to be doing this as weighing and measuring. And by the okay. way, the studies now show that when you're weighing every day, the people who do that are more compliant on their program, but also don't get into the weight regain mode. Because mm -hmm. the worst thing I see out there is not challenges losing weight, it's people regaining and then giving up, mm -hmm. right? Especially yeah. during the holidays, they just like go off the rails. I also, I know she sat back down. Were you scared? I, I'm very scared. This, this, be, afraid. Be, be afraid, be very be afraid. afraid. So. Okay. Besides just looking at your weight, we're also looking at what your weight is made up of. So one of the okay. things is we want to see if your your fat your fat placement. So we did that by tape measure, right? But mm -hmm. we also can do it by body fat. Now there's simple body fat scales that you can use, yeah. right? Like a Tanita scale, and these are great and inexpensive. You can get one for a hundred bucks. Nice. But you can also have someone have a trained professional do this that for would be you. you. Yes, yeah, stand up. Now these are called calipers. This is a body fat caliper, skinfold caliper. Oh up, God. stand up, stand up. Oh Lord, and, have um, mercy. And I'm actually, what I'm doing is I'm doing it right near, and I'm going to take off your shirt so I oh know wait, how much. Oh wait, hold on. Just look away. Look yeah. away. They won't be able the to look away. The paleness will blind you. It's the paleness, and what is that? How, now this that's, is, by that's the way. Eating my, you know what that is? That's eating my kids' leftover chicken nuggets. They well, leave why, them. Why are your kids eating chicken nuggets is the bigger question. Do you not like your kids? Well, well okay, um, corn nuggets. Um, leftover corn nuggets, you know those ones made out of mushroom? Is that okay, they have regular chicken nuggets too. Why don't you just give them chicken? Is there something I don't know about? Is there a, <laughs> is a chicken ban at your so house? Is that, okay. Was that bad? And maybe we don't have to give them chicken that's been fried and breaded. And then we're going to take a little chest here. Now this, okay, I'm taking your shirt out. Okay. So this is in between there and there. I'm just okay. there. Uh-oh. Oh, did that hurt a little bit? Ah. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> all right, we're good. I, I was just thoroughly... Um, measured. That's okay. Measured. <laughs> I'm doing this for the betterment of humanity. And how old are you? I am 45. So, and uh, you're 45. And do you have any any guess as to what your body fat is? Oh 
Oh my God. Um, well, now that I'm, now that I'm with you, I'm, I'm thinking it's like way up. So, so I guess really seven percent. So for men, for men, the she high point. Like, are you kidding? Are you me? kidding? Um, men have two to three percent essential fat. Fat they must have to survive. You'll see athletic men will be anywhere from five to fifteen percent, really five to twelve percent, and you really don't want to go over say eighteen percent. Um, you start getting into the risk for metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, diabetes. You get mm -hmm. over twenty four, twenty five percent. You start getting into the obesity range, and you, my friend, are twenty six percent. That is unacceptable. What the 26%. heck? So I know we're going to talk some today, and you're going to make a promise to me that you're going to take at least one of the things that I say today and start it immediately. And then so we can only focus on one thing at a time. Once we get through that, we'll go to the next and to the next and to the next.